you always need to have that mindset. Like, it's a thousand you, it's only one of me. I could find another one of you. I'd have been around the world three times and I met 10 of you. What's the word, YouTube? It's Sammy Yo. Check it out. In this video, we're gonna talk about the no contact rule. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, what is the no contact rule? It's exactly what it implies. No contact, I'm not trying to kick it with you, skate with you, nothing. We're not liking Instagram pictures. We're not watching stories. We're not commenting on anything social media wise. We're not texting. We're not FaceTiming. We're not talking on the phone. It's nothing, it's slow for you. You guys gotta realize this. For this to even work, she has to like you. I know you're probably thinking, why does she have to like me already? Because bro, if she doesn't like you, she's not gonna care if you don't contact her. But if she's on the fence, this is either A, get her to know that she ain't really messing with you, or B, get her to realize how much she needs you in her life. All right, we're gonna go through a few scenarios and I'm gonna talk about how the no contact rule could be applied and the pros and cons of using the no contact rule. Okay, say for instance, she cheated on you, man. This is a no exception scenario, bro. If she cheats on you, you need to cut that off immediately. Love yourself. Know your worth, King. Like, you are not a doormat. You are him, not them. You're him, Jones. You're Hemi Butler. Like, don't ever forget that. So, always hold yourself in high regard. They have to deserve to talk to you, right? Just because somebody has your phone number doesn't give them access to you. So, if she cheated on you, bro, she she's playing. We're not going to go back and forth. We're not going to cry about it. You know, wipe your tears, get outside, and get on these hoes, man. Get in the gym, eat healthy, travel, mix and mingle, man. Say for instance, you got a chick that's real mixy, like she's always out and about. She's in the clubs and, and sections and stuff, posting a lot of thirst traps. In this situation, using the no contact rule will help you stand out. She has all these guys just eating her up. They're giving her so much attention. They're lusting over her. They're like putting it all out there on the floor. Like, they're like, nah, I'm cool, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna do all that, cause everybody else is doing that. Severance is like a chick has 5,000 likes on Instagram, like on a picture. Why you gotta be 5,001? You don't gotta be 5,001, you got enough likes, it's cool. But see, the thing is, when women do these things, you know, they like the attention, but a lot of them want attention from certain people. So if you're that person, you've built that connection, and like she's really digging on you, then when you fall back on this, she's gonna be like, damn, like what happened with him? Like, like he used to like my pictures, he used to hit me up a lot, now I haven't heard from him, I wonder what he's doing. Or the con, she just move on to one of the hundreds or thousands of guys really like on her, right? So there's pros and cons to this. If you really trying to slide with it, you gotta apply that pressure. Like if you really want the interaction to go your way, man, you gotta play the game, man. You have to leverage your time and attention. Okay, now let's talk about if she's playing hot and cold, cause women are hip, man. I feel like guys, we're late. We're tardy to the party, man, they have been hip. You wanna play hot and cold with me to get me to pursue more? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with you. We're gonna see if you can handle it because it's different from doing it to someone and knowing what you're doing than a person doing it to you. Subconsciously, you, you're like, damn, like you really don't know how to handle the situation. Like, especially if they're feeling you. You know when a woman, like, she's always trying to hang out with you. She hits you up every day or majority of days. She doesn't mind texting you first. She doesn't dry text you and stuff. She might even throw herself at you. I know some of y'all can't relate, but to the ones that know, man, and you know now let's talk about if she dry text you have to love yourself right if she's dry texting you the no contact rule will help you with your discernment with your judgment of women like if she's not really engaging in conversation bro nine times out of ten she ain't feeling you bro she could be occupied but nine times out of ten if that's how the conversation goes what's going on love how you doing how's your day been cool are you doing anything this weekend yeah like bro she is not feeling you, bro, and it's cool, bro. This is gonna help you psychologically to have more in an abundance mindset, because yeah, she might be beautiful, she might be cold, she might be thick as cold grits, thick as bus tires. But at the end of the day, you always need to have that mindset. It's a thousand you, it's only one of me. I could find another one of you. I'd have been around the world three times and I met 10 of you. Now let's talk about if she brings up other guys constantly, right? So first of all, if she brings up other guys, tell her to stop bringing up other guys. Hey baby, you know, I, I hear you and all that. I really don't want to talk about other men. That's not what I do. That's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Nip that in the bud off top. If she keeps doing it, the no contact rule will let her know, hey, I'm not trying to be your friend, baby. I said you back. I ain't trying to be your friend, huh. You don't gotta be weird about it or salty about it. Just be like, yo, you know, I'm not trying to be like your boy best friend or anything. That's not that's not what I'm trying to do. I, I'm not that type of guy. And if you feeling her, bro, hold your nuts and tell her. I'm trying to get to know you on a deeper level. I'm not trying to be your boy best friend and be kiki and ha ha and I'm really feeling you. Now, if, if you're not feeling me on that level, you trying to be on some friend stuff, we could be cool. It's okay to have 
platonic female friends, bro, but you have to set boundaries, right? Now, let's say she's trying to just break you for the bag. Like, she is just like, I need my nails done. I need my hair done. I need my rent paid. You trying to pay for my flight? You trying to fly me out? You trying to take me here? You trying to do this? You trying to do that? Oh, I want to get this. Like, bro, now it's a blessing if you can be able to do those things and you have resources. Okay, so don't take it personal, right? You got to tell her. Yo, is it about our interaction or is it about the transaction, baby? Let me know. Because every time I'm talking to you, it's, it's like you just trying to get something out of it. You're not feeling me for me. You feeling me for what I can't provide. Bro, you never want to just be a trick. If you can provide, you know what I'm saying, you can do some fly stuff, you know what I'm saying, that's cool. You know what I'm saying, that's player. But like, don't just be tricking off your bread to women, bro. It's so much more important, valuable stuff you can be doing with your resources. And this will help you out, bro. If you don't contact her, bro, and she don't hit you up, that's even better, bro. Bro, you have to teach women how to treat you, right? You do this by giving positive reinforcement. Okay, we can text, we can kick it, we can hang out. You know what I'm saying? When you when you act when you acting right, man. This is giving her positive reinforcement, yo. This action that you're doing is gonna get this reaction. If you start getting out of bounds. You know, hey, um, we ain't gonna do that. I don't have time for that. You should be working on yourself every day, whether you're working out, educating yourself, getting certifications or learning new things so you can, you know, elevate in the corporate world. Like if you play sports, man, you practicing, you putting in that work so you can get better. Whatever your talent is, focus on that stuff. Focusing on progression, this helps with the no contact rule because if you don't have anything to do, you're bored, it's hard for you to not think about a woman that you was really feeling. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, it's hard. They're gonna be on your mind a lot. That's why you have to stay busy, stay working, stay talking to women. If you're not married or in a committed relationship, stay available, stay in a chick's face. Hey, man, I'm not saying talk to every chick that walk past, but stay at her. It all starts with a little hello, man. What's, what's going on? Hey, man, what's going on has led to the promised land for a lot of guys, man. Just, just talk to them, bro. And if you're in a messed up situation right now, your life isn't where you want it to be, you know, your finances aren't right, you might not be driving what you want to drive, you might be living what you want to be living. You don't have time to be cupcaking, my guy. Get to it, bro. You don't got time to be cupcaking it and worry about what she's doing and blowing her phone up all day. You need to be busy, my guy. Work. Pick up a second job. Pick up a side hustle. Bro, it's 2023. Unless you're making a lot of money, you can't afford to have one stream of income, bro. Inflation is crazy, bro. The world is crazy, man. Get on your grind, bro. Your focus should not be women, bro. Check it out. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Join the family. Become one of the members. My Discord link is in the bio. We're trying to build this community, man. We, we got building this support system. We're going to big each other up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hold each other accountable. And we're going to really put in the groundwork to get what we need to get. So join the Discord community, man. It's free. Till next time, I'm out.